So I'm folding clothes, right? And I was like, you know what? I'm basically just talking to myself right now while listening to music. I have to turn off the music because you're probably not going to be able to hear me, especially over the heater. But I'm just going to have a little talk to myself. And you guys can listen because it is like August 8th. And it's only now hitting me that the first year of college is done. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm weird. I'm weird with time. Either it's either I'm way too ahead of it or I'm way too behind. I'm never like living. I'm never living in the now. So, um, what did happen this year? Um, I guess if I was really just talking to myself, I'll just start talking about how um. I kind of just wasted first quarter. I mean, I go to UCLA, so if you guys didn't get that, I don't know. I go to UCLA, but I'm pretty sure it's on the title of this video if I ever release it. And I kind of just wasted first quarter sitting around all alone instead of making friends. Like, you start off. I thought it was for every quarter, but it's apparently just for full quarter, where there's a, uh, not, uh, where there's a zero quarter, and uh, not a zero quarter, fuck, okay. um, where there's a zero week, and during that time, you're basically, I don't know if you can even hear me, but you're basically just sitting around, like I moved in pretty early, I, was, I moved in during the first day of moving day. Because I really wanted to get into LA, so I could like get accustomed to the school and whatnot. But I kind of just wasted my time there. Like people were getting to know each other. My floor was pretty social. I wasn't in a hall. I was in Reber Terrace, and people in my floor were pretty social. But for some reason, I just wasn't. I just kind of sat around all alone on um, the balcony of my floor. Which had a great view. I was on the eighth floor, so like I had a great, I had a good view of um, Reber Court, and so first quarter, I'm pretty sure like the entire quarter, maybe like eighth week, which is pretty sad. Eighth week is like the ninth week that you're there. Um, I I started making friends, I started talking to people, mainly because um, I just felt awkward in general. Like, I'm not a very social person. So, like, whenever I go to class, I'd sit, like, on the side. I'm a right side, uh, left side, actually. <laughs> I'm a left side person, so, um, I like to sit on the left side of the lecture halls. So I always sit there, and I sit front-ish, and people don't really like to sit up there that much. So, I usually just sat alone like nobody to my side and if somebody did sit on my side it's usually like a seat over because you know people have personal space they they're respectful enough to give you that unless it's a cramped uh lecture then you will have to sit next to each other but basically like after all that like introduction um i wasn't making friends because i didn't know how in high school um like i tried recalling it like how did i make friends in high school and I'm like, um, I kind of just spewed milk out of my nose, and that's how I made friends. And I'm like, I can't do that in college, because it's just, um, not fun. So I was just sitting there and waiting for somebody to, like, interact with me. Because I didn't know how to do the initiative to start talking to people. So, around, like, 8th week, uh, around 8th week, that's when, um, this one guy in CS, in my CS 31 class, started talking to me, and I was like, um, hello? Like, I didn't know how to talk to him, I was like, uh, at f at f I don't remember what we were talking about at first. Oh, it was a cupcake. I brought a cupcake to class because whenever I go to CS, it's always after lunch, and I like to bring a cupcake with me, or whatever dessert there is in Feast. So I always just got a cupcake and when I got to class I sat I set it down in front of me because I was setting up my table. So I set the cupcake down and I forgot about it. 
So he showed up. He showed up and he was like, um, is this your cupcake? And I was like, uh, oh yeah, it's mine. I'm sorry. And so that's where it started off and we just started talking and he asked me about how I'm doing on a project. And then I started like Loki crying. I was like, I don't know how to do this. I'm failing this class. And he was like, oh, dude, I can like help you if you need to, like if you need help. And I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, I didn't really ask him that much. Like I tried to be as independent as possible. And that's like another thing about my freshman experience, I guess, is that I was really, really egotistical and like felt like I could do everything on just my own like be independent but not really like you'll think that at first but like you'll get your like first F on like a midterm <laughs> I, have, I got like three F's <laughs> on my midterms but like you'll get that failure and you're like oh I can't actually survive this on my own and so this guy was just helping me and I was like oh thank you and like after that like before that, I was averaging about, like, um, like, all my projects were basically failing, like, 60s, 50s, but when he helped me out, like, when I had, like, somebody to be, like, like, he wasn't giving me answers, but uh, to just, uh, to somebody to just parrot back information to, he was really helpful with that. I was, like, because I tell him, like, okay, here's my idea, like, will it actually work, and he's, like, yeah, it should work, and... I was like, okay, then how do I go about doing it? And he's like, well, have you tried doing this? And I was like, oh, I didn't actually think about doing that. And blah, 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 blah. And by the end of it, because this was, this was our, like, second to last project, I got a B on it. And I was like, whoa. Whoa. I mean, he got, like, a 90 or 95 or something. But he got an almost perfect score, but I got, like, an 80. And I was like, that's a big jump from all my other scores. And I'm pretty sure if I hadn't had that cupcake that day, I would have failed that class. Because there was no way I was passing that class. I don't, I don't know how I, <laughs> I don't know how I even got through that class in the first place. Oof. But basically, I didn't make friends until then. And then like, for my math class though, um, there was this one girl that <laughs> I'm not gonna say much, but she was basically she 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 made an impression. Let's just let's just go there. She made an impression on me, and I was like, okay, this girl's chill. And so we started talking about like stuff. I don't really remember specifically. It's been like so many months, but we became friends, and she was chill too. And so like by the end of like fall quarter. I made two friends besides like my roommate so I was like wow I felt like I would have more because like I had a lot in high school and it's not to say like I was like the famous kid or whatever it's just that we were really close in high school because it's a small school so yeah that's fall quarter well that's one of the aspects of fall quarter like all my lessons I basically learned this year happened in fall quarter and like winter and spring was just kind of boring boring in terms of storytelling i mean um so the egotistical thing um i go to nsa right like i went to the orientation the the, the what is it the nsa the advisor there was like you should um only take these classes this will probably get you on track and like, I'm sitting here like, hmm, I'm kind of the shit. Like, I know how to do shit. So I, I was sitting there like looking at him like, yeah, yeah, totally. I'll, I'll take those classes. And then come registration day, um, I, uh, I changed one of my classes to um, come Computer Science 31. Uh, it was supposed to just be, what is it? I think it was supposed to be a GE. But I was already um, enrolled into math math physics and a ge and then like when everybody was done i was like oh there's still room for um for com for computer science and i was like we might as well try it and i was like yeah i can handle it it's three it's three um it's only three classes <laughs> silly me so um 
by the time the first midterm rolled around, that's when I realized that I was kind of screwed. Because I did not pass any of them. Well, I passed math, but like, it, it was like a C-. minus. So I'm like, oh my god. I'm failing all my classes this quarter. And I kind of had like a mental crisis. Like, mental, emotional, physical, like, educational breakdown. And it, it was just kind of sad. Like, thinking back to it, I was like, wow, I'm so dramatic. But I'm kind of, like, also thinking back to it now, I'm kind of glad it happened because um, it kind of taught me how to, like, accept failure, I guess. Because uh, before then, you know, high school was pretty easy. You'd breeze through classes like it was nothing. But then you, you get to college and you're just like, you're not used to failure. Because, like, UCLA is the top of the top like it's it's up there so you're you're gonna get the straight A's the valedictorians the people who've taken 80 classes to the max and so everybody's just like used to success so suddenly like you used to be the the top achiever the overachiever of your class and suddenly you're the you're the average achiever and that was kind of a harsh thing to learn and it was even more harsh Harsher. It was harsher. It was more whatever. It's it's harsher to learn it through failure, but it also means that. But it also makes it worth more, because when you fail, it sticks to you, like it haunts you. But like I say haunt, but like I don't really mean it in like a negative way, because I'm kind of glad it happened. Because after I failed my first midterms, I worked my entire butt off. But I kind of like gave up on CS because I was really discouraged because of an experience which I'm not really going to get into because I don't want to look back at that situation but I kind of just gave up with CS and but then I kind of pulled my entire life together for physics I don't know how it happened I, I failed the midterm like horribly I got a f like um, not even like an F it might as well just have been a double F uh, but I somehow pulled through by the end of the class and I got a B and I was like whoa I was expecting a C plus but okay okay and then math which I kind of slacked off on to focus on physics but that's an excuse I could have focused on both and it would have been fine. I just got complacent with my math scores. And math, I got, and I ended up getting uh, curved down. And I was really devastated because I'm like, whoa, I thought I was going to walk away with this in this class with a B minus. But never mind, I guess I'm stuck with a C plus. So the entire first quarter, I feel like, had been a failure. But I feel like it was a necessary failure, like how there's, there's evil, but then there's necessary evil. So, I feel like first quarter for me was the necessary failure of my life. Because after that, I've, I've pretty much learned what my limits are, what can I handle, what can't I handle. And I've learned how to like balance difficult um, classes together, rather than just taking a bite that I cannot chew. Taking more than I... Hmm. Biting more than I can chew. That's the idiom. Um, and so, that's pretty much freshman year. Like, I learned not to be egotistical. I learned my own limits. I learned how to make some friends. I guess the noteworthy... Th the note... Note... Noteworthy accents thing um about winter winter spring quarter is that i made some more friends winter quarter i was in class i was in an english composition class with this one dude and he also ended up being in my um math 32 32a class and we just cut I, I, I that's when i learned i was like okay time for me to take the initiative to talk to people and i asked him I was like hey aren't you in my class for math like this was in English, I was like, are you in my math class? And he's like, yeah. And then we just started talking. And then like a week later, 
because he used to I I sat on the left side, he sat on the right side, and a week later he sat on my on my side, and it's like um, I don't mean to like change your routine. Like you can go sit over there if you want to. Like I don't I don't I don't want to bother you. And he's like, oh, it's fine. And so after that, we just started sitting next to each other. And then like next quarter, we got the same we we got the same math class. And this upcoming quarter, we also have the same math class. Because I managed to convince him to not be a physics major. Because he was a... Uh, he was... Undeclared sciences. But I managed to get him out of it. And I was like, um... You should be in applied math. You should do this major and just take physics operatives. And he was like, oh, okay. Like, it wasn't really hard to convince him. But... That's another friend, and then I got closer to my roommate too. Like my roommate is like my best friend at this point, but uh, I don't want to say best friend. I take that back. Don't quote me on that. Um, but what was I gonna say? Spring quarter. Um, I got more active with my floor. Um, I started talking to them more. I made a few friends there. Like not like I wasn't really as close to them as I was with this other with the guy from Winter Quarter, but they were still friends. Like we sang karaoke together. We went to the beach at like three o'clock in the fucking morning. Um, then I made another close friend. And I guess to like summarize it, because I'm done folding laundry. <laughs> um, to summarize it, I guess. Uh, uh, I'm running on a blank. Freshman year. Um, we actually sat through this long video. I'm sorry. First of all. And second of all, um, advice for like people who like want to watch this for advice on UCLA. Don't bite more than you can chew. Well, you sh I say that, but like it's good if you still do it. Like if you think you can handle it. Like if you think you can actually do it. And you actually succeed, then that's good. Like you know what your limits are. But if you don't succeed, then again, you know what your limits are. And, um, what did I say? Gosh, I am blanking out. Um, don't, don't chew, don't bite more, uh, don't bite more than you can chew. Um, Sometimes it's gonna take your initiative to make friends. Like, don't count on other people coming to you to um to be your friend. And I guess third, um, I should I should I should have planned out my my advices here. But um, I guess another advice is um hmm I don't know. I guess I only have two advice. Don't bite don't bite more than you can chew. I swear to god, I will get that idiom. Okay, don't bite more uh don't bite off more than you can chew. Okay. And also take the initiative. Yeah.